Good morning, children. I hope you're well. Today in English, we're going to be doing a grammar lesson leading on to some writing tomorrow that I want to see this grammar used in your writing. So today I want you to, first of all, get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen, lined paper if possible, and I want you to write today's date and what. Underlining with a ruler, please. I'm looking for presentation today. So you can pause the video and write the date and the what. Okay, now that you've written your date and what, we're going to go through this grammar presentation so that we understand what modal verbs are. So modal verbs express certainty, ability or obligation. And you might be thinking, what is Miss talking about? So let's have a look for some examples. So these are modal verbs and these are words that you use um, to modify a verb, to change the meaning of a verb or the strength of a verb. So certainty, may, might, would, shall and will. So, for instance, if you're going to say I am going to the party, you might say I might go to the party. I may go to the party. I will go to the party. Uh, and it changes the sentence, doesn't it? It changes the meaning of the sentence, the certainty in the sentence. For ability, I can and I could. We know the difference between those. If you can do something, then you can definitely do it. If you could, then it's got a little bit of uncertainty about it. Obligation. I must, I should, I ought. I must do my homework. I should do my homework. I ought to do my homework. Can you see that they change the sentence? Let's go on to the next slide. So modal verbs, just like I've just said, are placed before the verb that they are modifying. So I thought I might eat a snack. You can see the verb here is eat and the modal verb is might and it's modifying that meaning of eat. So I thought I might eat a snack. You could see them from the windows. So see is the verb there. And you could, if you put, you might see them from the windows, then it would have been a completely different sentence as you could see them from the windows. They should investigate this incident. Here's the verb, investigate, or doing word. They should invest, in, investigate this incident. means that they might not. If that was they will investigate this incident, it would be more certain, wouldn't it? So indicating degrees of certainty using modal verbs. The frogs might be dangerous, the frogs will be dangerous, and the frogs may be dangerous. So which sentence is the most certain? The frogs might be dangerous, the frogs will be dangerous, or the frogs may be dangerous. I know if we're in class, you'd have your hands up now, and you would be saying, yes, the frogs will be dangerous, is the most certain. Let's have a look at this when it indicates degrees of obligation using modal verbs. We should investigate. We ought to investigate. We must investigate. Which sentence is the strongest degree of obligation? Which one is saying um, that is definitely going to happen? We must investigate. All these blue words are modal verbs. Indicating ability using modal verbs. Pigs might fly. The verb is fly. You can see how it's in bold here. Pigs would fly. Pigs can fly. Pigs must fly. Which sentence indicates ability? So which one here is the most um, able? Which is, the, which is the one that says it's definitely most possible? Pigs can fly. So modal verbs are useful for reporting when facts are not certain. So the frogs may be looking for a new home. May is the verb, modal verb. The frogs might return and for showing when they are. Flying pigs would cause more chaos. We will keep our windows shut till, oh, I missed that one. We must keep our windows shut till next Tuesday. Or we will keep our windows shut till next Tuesday, excuse me. So modal verbs are useful for including opinion in a report. Not just a report, you're going to be writing a letter tomorrow. And I'll explain that in a little while. There are most commonly found in informal opin opinion piece writing and in direct speech quotations from people who are interviewed. The frogs must be stopped. I should be safe to leave my washing out at night. The council ought to pick up all of the lily pads. So 
let's just explain what we are doing and why we're doing it. Actually, before that, there's a little video I was going to show you. Let's see if I can show you this. Let's see if I can show you a little video that I found that you might enjoy that talks about modal verbs. So let's have a look at this together. Oh, Okay, hope you like that. Let's go back to this presentation here. So today you're going to complete a worksheet um, practicing how to modify verbs using modal verbs. So this is why. We are going to be looking at this picture tomorrow in a lot more detail. Here is mother and she's meeting her friend and they're talking about how some people are looking for safety and go into the mountains for safety. You're going to think about this conversation between mother and her friend, and you're going to think about how mother might be feeling. A mother's then going to write a letter to her friend after their meeting, telling her how she feels. And those things that she have, th those feelings that she has in the sentences we want to use modal verbs. So I've thought of maybe three of the way, three of the things that mother might say. So I've said, I must keep my children safe. I should go in the darkness of night. I couldn't forgive myself if they were harmed. So you can see here I've used three modal verbs. You might notice here that this is the negative version. You could also do shouldn't, mustn't. They are still modal verbs as well. So this is in preparation for tomorrow, making sure that we've got some really good sentences, including modal verbs for our writing tomorrow. So task one, you're going to complete the worksheet on show beyond modal verbs. Please write the sentences out onto a piece of paper and underline the modal verb. I don't really want you to be working on the sheet unless if, if it's at all possible, I want you to be copying. It doesn't mean you have to print the worksheet out. You can copy from your computer onto a piece of paper and then take a photograph and upload it. Even if it's at the end of the day when mums and dads have finished working, you can upload it then. You don't have to do it straight away in the morning. But I don't want you filling the worksheet out online. I don't just want a little bit of writing. I want to see your handwriting. And then task two is in preparation for your writing tomorrow. I want you to write at least five sentences that include all modal, modal verbs for how mother might be feeling when she writes to her friend. I used a modal verb there when I said might be feeling. So I did three here. You can magpie these, you can extend them. These were just very simple ideas. They're about my ideas for tomorrow. I must keep my children safe. I should go in the darkness of night. I couldn't forgive myself if I if they were harmed. So I've said at uh, least five sentences. You could do as many as you want in preparation for your writing. That's going to be a letter from mother to her friend, telling her friend how um, how confused she is, how she doesn't know what to do, whether she should take the children and try to escape or not. <clears throat> so good luck with your work today. Remember, you're working on a piece of paper and you're uploading it onto Shobi when you can. And task two, at least five sentences that include modal verbs. Okay, I will speak to you later. I'll put the PowerPoint on um, 
Sherby as well, in case you need to need to look at that. OK.